Hello and hi everyone. Let's look on this example here. We have our complex number here in Cartesian form and we want to change them into polar form or modulus argument form. So uh, let's look on our first example here. Z1 is equal to 3 plus 4i. And we have we have talked and discussed about uh, argon diagram. We also talk about what, what does it mean by the, the modulus of Z and also what does it mean by the, the argument of Z. So now, let's do this example. So 3 plus 4i, 3 plus 4i can be plotted in our argon diagram like this. So we have our argon diagram with vertical and also the the horizontal axis. The horizontal axis represent the the real part of our Z and this one the the her, the, the vertical axis is for the imaginary part of our of complex number. So so our point Z1 here is 3 4 so it 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 locates at the first quadrant here so we have 3 4 so somewhere here so this is our z1 so by looking at this perspective we have our right angle triangle here with three units on the uh, horizontal axis and four units for the imaginary or the, the vertical part. So now, let's calculate the, the, the R or the, the modulus of Z. So first one, modulus of Z. So R, we just, we just apply the Pythagoras theorem here. So we, R is equal to the third of three squared plus 4 squared. So we have 3 squared is 9, 9 plus 16 is 25. So we have R is equal to, our R is equal to 25 is equivalent to 5. And next one is the, the argument. So the argument of Z is also known as the theta. So we just apply basic um, trigonometric function, trigonometric ratio. So we have tan theta. Oh, by the way, theta is the is the angle measured from from positive positive real axis up to the line of the z to, from the origin. So we have tan theta is equal to the the opposite side over the adjacent. So we have four over three. Therefore theta is just the arctan of 4 over 3. It somehow takes the value um, 0 0.93 radian. So we have our theta here, we have our r. So therefore, z is equal to, let me, let me change my marker. So z is equal to r equal to 5 cos 0 0.93 plus sine 0 0.93 i. So this is the answer for the first example. So now, let's move on to the second one here. So again, we draw our argon diagram first to locate our point, our complex number. So this is real part. This is for imaginary part. So we have negative one, seven. So it must be on or in this second quadrant. We have negative one and seven. So somewhere here. So this is, this is our Z2. So now our triangle here should be like this.
with one unit to the left and seven unit up in the vertical axis right so so this is our modulus this is our modulus here r and what about the argument of theta is it is it here or here so again back to its definition argument z or theta is measured from the positive real axis so this is the theta this is the theta so this angle here let's say i will name it with alpha so first the modulus let's find the modulus So R is just the third of one square plus with seven square. So we have third 50 or mm, five set two. All right, so we have our modulus here. What about our argument? What about our argument of Z, which is theta? So first, when we talk about this angle alpha we we don't simply have our argument but we can we may when we when we know the value of, of alpha we can minus and subtract it with the the whole uh, angle here which take the value of pi on 180 then we get the 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 theta or our argument so let's find the alpha first then we subtract later so we have tan alpha is equal to 7 over 1. So alpha is just the uh, tan of 7, which, which is uh, equals to um, 1.143. So alpha here is 1.43. Therefore, argument of z, that is theta, so theta is just the whole the whole angle pi here 180 minus with our alpha so minus 1 for 1 1.43 which is we get um, more or less 1.71 up to two uh, two decimal point therefore now we have our z is equal to 5 set 2 for r then cos 1.71 plus with sine 1.71 i so this is the answer for the second example hope this video helps you in finding uh, the polar form of uh, of a certain uh, cartesian form of complex number. Till next time, bye bye.